bison is such a beautiful source of protein. The day I cooked those wonderful steaks into this this beautiful succulent dishes, I think that is going to be one of the most memorable days of my life. Thank you, Ted's Montana Grill. I love you. It's kind of creepy, but it's kind of weird, but I I do love it. This is the Ted's Butcher Shop. You can get online, you can order it. Two Delmonico cuts, two strips, two fillets. With the Ted's Montana Grill seasoning, and it's all bison. It's a wonderful alternative protein source. Hi, I'm OJ. I'm cooking bison steaks today from Ted's Montana Grills Butcher Shop online. I got some more wine. Probably gonna drink it all. I'm happy. You're happy. Bison's good. It's lean. It's natural. It's good for you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of tipsy right now. Let's go. Once upon a time, a man named Ted Turner fell in love with this animal called the bison. And the bison was so sweet and tender and juicy. So the lad Ted Turner opened up a restaurant named Ted's Montana Grill and started serving bison. Go away. Today, what we're gonna do, number one, we're gonna grill this right out of the bag. Number two, we're gonna sous vide and then grill this and see what the difference is. And number three, we're gonna cut this up, make it into a sandwich, a Japanese style sandwich. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we're just gonna do it. This is the Bison Ridge Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm gonna use this to cook. You gotta know what you're cooking with. Skillet. Whoa. It's really fresh. I'm not a professional, so I'm just gonna go as any normal guy in a house who doesn't grill twice a week. That's me. Simple salt and pepper. The bison fillet. This is the bison strip. And our comparison group would be the bison fillet sous vide. And this is the bison strip. And this, meet the juice, is very good stuff. I'm gonna save and use this later. This is good. This is the Bison Riz 2000. I already said it. Put a bunch of oil, and I'm putting a lot of oil in it because it doesn't have a lot of fat. Going in. I'm gonna cook the fresh ones first. Whoa. Let's get you working on a Sunday. Ow, ow. Now we wait. Natural, nutrient-rich, lean flavor, bison fats. And I'm not gonna read the bison fats. Okay, I'll read it. The U.S. bison herd now exceeds 500,000 head. Why do you say head? Because the bisons are unique to North America. I guess you can only see them here. Bisons are different from buffalo. Oh, I didn't know that. Buffalo are only found in Africa and South Asia? Really? I don't see no buffalo in Asia. I should slow down on the wine. So usually the recommendation for grass-fed beef was medium rare. I think bison is similar to that. Whoa. Butter. Man. I'm trying to remember, you know that thing? This is rare, this is medium rare. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna have them rest here, and I'm gonna switch to the sous vide one. I sous vide this at 130 degrees. Flashback. Three hours later. If you turn this on, it says 130. That's the only reason I did 130 degrees. And then it was set to three and a half hours. So that's why I did three and a half hours. Savid, this is gonna be a real quick pan sear. 
Remember the meat, the juice? We're gonna put this in a little bit, not too much. Yeah, I just want a good sear on this so I can take it out. I never had a gyukatsu sando ever, but I never could find any place in Atlanta who fries the A5 Wagyu and sells it at 80 bucks. I saw a bunch of videos enough, and I think I can pull it off with the Bison Del Monico signature steak from Ted's Montana Grill. So we're gonna cut this up in perfect square, and then I made a failed steak sauce. It tastes good, but it looks horrible. I'm gonna use that as the sauce, so we're gonna hide it between them. I'm gonna make a whatever steak sauce based on what I kinda remember from all the shoots we had. I have edited more than at least 150 restaurants around Atlanta. How did... Oh, oh. I remember this from YouTube videos. Yeah, let's go! Maybe 20, 30 places out of those 150 were steakhouses. Ah, uh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, I know how to make a steak sauce, but, but... Does steak sauce even have onion in it? It does? Okay, fine. I forgot what I was supposed to do. It was absolutely 110% my fault. So the sauce I'm cooking right now, Cabernet Sauvignon in it. And pour myself a little bit of glass. And I was cocky, I was arrogant. I, 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 I. I... <gasps> this looks like a legit sauce. <sighs> okay, I think we're done. I'm panicking. I'm gonna pour this in here. It's, but it's just oil right now. It's just oil. I, I, um, should I put more wine or put more? Gross. You know, there there are moments in life where 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 you mess things up and you don't know what to do. You're shocked about the fact that you messed up and you collapse, but... <laughs> I used to be that guy, but not anymore. I am mature enough to admit that I f***ed up and I move on. And the bread we're gonna use today is a wonderful homemade Japanese style bread made by my wonderful wife, Rosa. And the bread gopanko that we're gonna use is also scraps of all the breads that my wife has been making, so I just ground them up. So Delmo Nico is a signature cut from Ted's Montana Grill. It almost feels like a water-aged beef. That's how soft and tender it is. So I'll cut this part out a little bit. We're gonna salt and pepper this first. Ted's seasoning, pretty generous. Flip it over, do the same thing. We're gonna crack an egg, and then dunk it in. We want it to have that really nice, tempura crispiness to it. So the oil I'm gonna use today is just normal vegetable oil. I don't have that one of those sticks things that, that can get the temperature right. Thermometer, show off. Put a couple of breadcrumbs in there. I think we're ready to go. I have Whoa. no idea what's gonna happen here. Mm. Oh, 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 we need a Cut this bread up. Look at that. If no one bakes at home, just go to Publix Troger and just get normal, like Wonder Boy. You Wonder Boy? I don't know. <laughs> Apply butter on one side of the bread. <laughs> Check on the. Ooh. So, how long have you had it before? 
I think I had it in for about a good two minutes at this point. No, no. no. <laughs> it's been a lot longer than two really? minutes. Really? Eight, eight or ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. In the oil? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take it out. You guys are making me nervous. So we have the bread. It's bison. It's a Japanese recipe. And I don't know, but we're here. Okay, let's build this beast. Flip it over. The wonderful meat steak sauce. It almost looks like peanut butter with some unidentified stuff. <laughs> this is good. This almost looks like a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> This real fast. This is the important part. I did it. Look at this! And this is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be our today's sauce. <laughs> this looks so good. Okay, so this is Dijon mustard. And it's a perfect substitute if you mess up your steak sauce. Whoa, look at this. The inside surface is completely pink from like middle to the edge. This was the sous vide. This one was sous vide and that was normal pan sear. Right. This has a more thicker crust. This is seriously, oh my God. I thought it was gonna be chewy. That was normal pan sear, oh my God. Let's try the sous vide one. I think I'm gonna go with the pants here. The crust is more there, but the inside, I don't think this meat needs to be sous-vided, which means low temperature cooked for a long time to make the meat tender. It doesn't need that. It's already super tender and it's already so good, even like just pan frying it. That's the pan fried pan fried. Sous-vide. It doesn't need to be any more tender. Right? It's already- This is already super tender. It's slightly different. And different enough that you want to come back to it once in a while. I think, I think that's the catch here. This is the filet. I'm gonna try these. Like even the surface layer of it, you can kind of see the difference. And the sous vide. For the filet, definitely, definitely sous vide this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You can just rip this off. You can just rip it off. Sir Ted Turner sent me the Bison Del Monico cuts. And like, what does he do? Inspires me. Inspires me to make a Bison Jukatsu Sando. You know what? I didn't know Ted's Montana Grill was made by Ted Turner. But now I know. Uh, Ted Turner is pretty cool. Uh, I like 
How did you do that? How did you do this? How did you make this? It's this so has to be the meat. This isn't you. <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> you don't. Can we make another? Huh? Can we make another? I think we can. This is a must. This is crazy. Ted's Bison Katsu Sando. Put this on the menu. This is crazy. This is crazy. It was such a wonderful day. I had these awesome bison steaks from Ted's Butcher Shop, which is Ted's Montana Grill's online butcher shop that you can get all their fresh bison cuts online to your doorstep. We cooked those wonderful bison steaks that please many taste palates. In the end, it was, it was a very pleasant experience and um, I enjoyed it very much. <laughs>